Hi and welcome to building a to-do app using Vue.js and Django as the backend. In this Django and Vue.js example I will be building a to-do app. This is a trivial thing to do when you know a language but it's also a great way to learn many of the key concepts of programming. I will be starting off this Django and Vue.js tutorial by installing and setting up Django. First I will create a virtual environment called Vuango. Django is just a combination of Django and Vue, virtual env, Django and then 3.6.4 which is the Python version I'm running. And when that is created I can go into it and activate it by running source bin activate and now we have a virtual environment running. Then I need to install Django and a few dependencies. I can start with Django pip install Django and I'm going to need Django REST framework this is what I'm going to use to create the API and I need to install Django course headers the reason I installed Django course header is to allow a request done via Ajax without this I would get an error in the browser if you want to read more about the Django course headers, you can check out their GitHub page. There's a few more steps I need to do here. And one is to create the Django project. Django admin, start project, view Django. And there it's created. So then I can go to Visual Studio Code and open up the project. View Django. And inside the settings file, I need to include Django REST framework. Sorry, it's not like that. It's REST framework and course headers in one word. Then I need to set a few other settings like course origin allow all equals true this makes it possible to run the ajax if i want more security i can whitelist the domain and stuff like that but for this tutorial this will be enough inside here i need to add a local ip address like this and then i need to go over it's important that it's over the common middleware course headers dot middleware dot course middleware comma then I can go back to the command line and run the initial migration script make migrations python manage the py migrate and now the tables should be ready then I can try to run the project. Manage py run server. Just copy this address. Yeah, it's working. Perfect. Then I can go back and stop it and create a super user for the admin interface. Create super user admin. the password and then the super user is created now the Django is working as we want we can continue to the next part which is a view so then I just split the screen go into documents create a new folder called view and here I want to create a new project view you you create Vuango. So this will create a new project. I want to manually select features. I don't need a linter for this, but I want CSS preprocessors. And I want a router. Yes, that's it. Yes. Says using node says. 
package.json and I don't need to save this. Okay, the project is finished. I can go into it and I can install to dependency Axios, which is what I'm going to use to talk to the back end. And I want to install Bulma, which is a CSS framework I'm going to be used to make it easier to create a nice interface. And then I can go back to Visual Studio Code again and I can add one more project here. Just click add folder to workspace and then I go and add this view angle. And inside the app.view I want to import the Bulma just to see that everything is working. Import dot slash node modules slash Bulma. I think that's everything we are going to need. But I can insert a button just to see that it's working. Button is primary. Primary button and save. Then we can run the command here npm run serve and then I can copy this hit enter everything is working here and also the primary button is a Bulma style Okay, now that the view project is created, I can go back to Django again. And I can go into the command line where I want to create an app for the tasks. To do that, I run python manage.py start app task. Then I can go back to the command line. Sorry, to VS Code again. Inside the models is where I'm going to create a database model. Class task models that's model. And here I want to add some constants to make it possible to set the status for the tasks. To do. Equals to do. Done. Done. Status choices equals the tuple with the tuple inside I use this instead of using numbers because it's much more easy to use this in the front end because it's easier to understand done than just uh, integer like two or something like that I want the task to have a description description equals Models of char field max length two five five and then the status which is also going to be a char field but it doesn't have to be that long choices equals status choices default equals to do so I can just reference to do like this and save. And then I need to update the database again but first I need to add the task app to the settings file task. So if I run python manage make migrations it will say that I want to create a model for the task and then I run the actual command. Perfect. Next I want to set up the serializers for the tasks which I'm going to use in the API later. So inside here I create a new file serializers.py from rest framework import serializers from dot models import task and then I create the serializer class task serializer a serializer is used to make it possible to get JSON data in a much easier way serializers hyperlinked 
model serializer plus meta and use the task model fields equals id description and the status then we can save this and the next thing we need to do now is to create the view so in here i need to import the model again task from dot serializers import task serializer and I need to import a few view sets and stuff from the REST framework. From REST framework, import view sets from REST framework dot authentication. Import basic authentication. Sorry, import from rest framework dot permissions import is authenticated then i create a view task view set view sets dot model view set like that this is the API endpoint that allows us to view and edit tasks. Authentication classes I want to use is the basic authentication. The permission classes I want to use is just the authenticated is authenticated the query set to get the task from the database is task.objects.all and the serializer class serializer class is task serializer we created then we can save this then I can go to the command line again and start up the shell I just want to test to add some data to the database python manage shell from task.models import task task1 equals task.object.get no create of course description task number one the status will be added automatically. Oops, sorry, I forgot to add this one. I can add one more. And I can add the third one. It's status equals task dot done. So that should be set as done. And hit enter. We just test this for in tasks equal task dot objects dot all. Yes, as you can see here, we get three different tasks. Perfect. So now we can just close the shell again. And the last thing we need to do for the Django is to go to urls.py and import this from task dot views import task view set and I need to import one thing from the rest framework from rest framework work import routers then I need to create the router routers dot default router Router register tasks task view set like that, and then I need to import it down here. Sorry, I need to add an R there like that. Include router URLs. Also need to import your include from Django URLs. If 
add a comma there now. We can try to start the server. Python manage run server. No module name. No, because it says three ss. It seems to be work, and then I can test this API by opening a new window here and trying out the curl command. Accept application slash JSON indent equals four u admin. Then the password, and then the URL HTTP into seven zero zero one eight thousand tasks. And here is JSON with all the tasks we just created. And as you can see, this is set to done. So then we can go back to view again. And I want to open up the views home.view and just remove this i don't want the hello world component it can just be like this but i know i'm going to use a data array return no return like this next i'm going to add some html h1 class Title Django HR Dev Class Columns Dev Class Column is three is offset three form Dev no h2 class subtitle add task dev class field label class label description dev class control input class input Type text Dev class field Label class label status Dev class control Select no Dev class select first this is much bulma code Select op option value to do option value done Let's close all the divs below this field I want to add one more for the button field dev class control button class button is link add no submit is better dev dev close the form that and then I can close that div and that div and everything there should be okay and below these columns I want one more columns div class column is six which takes up half h2 class subtitle to do this is where I want to show the tasks that have status to do 
this done and I can just create one dummy dev class to do dev class card dev class card content this is where I want to show the task description the no, footer class card footer a class card footer item done so when I click this I want to set the status to done I'm going to implement this in a little while okay that looks better but I can copy this to do also paste it here but here I don't need this button then I want to just copy this I can remove the default styles and so on from view just paste that select select with 100% dot card margin bottom 20 pixels done Opacity 0.3 Style and save So now I can test this in the browser It doesn't look very good, but it's working and that's the main part for this tutorial So then I can go back here and import Axios import Axios from Axios and when this page is mounted I want to call a function to get tasks this dot get tasks and I want to create that method as well get tasks axios axios I want to use method get URL HTTP slash slash one two seven zero zero one a thousand tasks auth username this is the super user I created and when that's done no one and the done I run this then response this dot tasks equals response dot data and I need to add tasks like this and that was all we needed to get the task from the back end and load them into an array now we want to make a few changes to the template in order to show the tasks I we'll just scroll up here for the to do and then I want to make a loop on the card v for task in tasks v if task dot status equals to do the bind key task id and instead of this I say task description and below here I can just copy this again paste it done task description save and that should be working now hopefully yes I have two tasks here and one there perfect what it changes set this to done so that it has an opacity so you actually see that the task is done next I want to make it possible to add task using this form 
So we can scroll up to the form and say v on submit dot prevent because I don't want to run it to the browser. Add task. And I need to add the V model description. And also this need a V model status. And then I can scroll down because I need to add the description there. Status. I can set this to, to do by default. Then I need to create the add task method. You can do it below there. Add task. If this dot description, because I don't want to make it possible to submit it when the description is empty. Axios. Method post URL. It's just the same URL because the API will figure this out automatically. Tada. Description. This dot description. And then I need a status. This dot status. I can copy the auth because I need a two down here. And when this is done, I run then response fat arrow to make it a function. Let new task equals ID response that data ID description this dot description. I do this because I want the ID from the server. Status, this dot status. And then I can push this task to the tasks array. This dot tasks dot push new task. And then I want to reset the form by setting this dot description equals empty and this dot status equals to do. Also should catch errors if there are any. Error, fat error, console.log, error, just print that to the screen. So if I save this now, I can go to the browser to test this out. Just open up the inspector, refresh just to do that. Test number one, submit, and then it's added there. So if I refresh, it's still there. That's perfect. I can also try to add the DOM task just to do that. Then it's added to the DOM list. Now it's time to make it possible to set the task as DOM. So here I say V on click, set status, task.id done. Close it. I can also make this a shortcut by just saying at click. Then I can create this method below the add task. Task ID and status. And in here I need to run Axios command again. Method put because I don't want to post I want to put so the database knows I want to update it and not create a new one okay copy the URL but I need to pass in task ID here so that the server know which task I want to update headers content type application slash json and the data I'm going to post this or put st status status like that and below there I need to post in the auth like this 
then we can save this if I oops I did something wrong there yes I this was not supposed to go there it's supposed to go out there like this now we can save again and it looks better if I click done it's a 400 error from the server the field is this field is required okay so I need to pass in the description as well description description and above here I need to get that from the array just create the empty one first const task equals this dot tasks dot filter task task dot id equals task id just get the first one just to be hundred percent sure const description task dot description I can do this instead if I save now and go back if I click done it seems to be okay okay it was moved over there but down here I need to make sure that it's automatically moved to the correct list then just create the empty function and I say task dot status equals done no I set it to status in case I want to change this mm. and there it's automatically moved over there so now we have a very simple task manager but maybe I want to make it possible to click to do here to move a task back that will be very simple when we already have this function so I can just copy the footer and paste it down here inside the card to do to do so now this have a to do button and if I click it Will be automatically moved back there again so that was it for this video i hope you enjoy building this to do application and there's a bunch of other things you can do to improve this app for example structure the code with components make it possible to delete tasks make it possible to change the description different kinds of sorting more statuses etc you can also make big improvements on the security and maybe add users and similar if you like this video please click like below and if you want more videos like this please subscribe to my channel